Yo, 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 what is going on guys, Tyrell here, and basically if you have not guessed by the title of the video, basically what I'm going to be talking about is Capcom is literally almost dead, and this is old news, but I thought I'd just bring this to my subscribers, and the gameplay you're seeing on the screen is Street Fighter Cross Tekken on the PS Vita. It became a port um, early in the Vita's release, I think, I'm not sure, but I know that the port is actually good. But the game, <laughs> I just don't like the game. Like, I played the console version of this port because my friend saw me playing it on my break one day. He's like, oh, you got that Street Fighter Cross Tekken? Oh, you got it? Oh, we, 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 we need to get on that. And I'm just like, um, all right, man. I only been playing for like a few days, but cool. And I played it over at his house, and it was cool. I was just like, all right, it's not that different from my Vita. But there's a huge problem. I don't like this game it's just they added i don't know it's not that they added too much stuff but um there is some things i do like like the tekken characters combos are the same as like from tekken five and up or whatever so basically like i'm using kazooie on the screen my favorite tekken character and i can whoop any like i can whoop some ass with that man and um it's i don't know it's just i did i did find the game a little easy but then again, I'm, it's just on, like, normal. I really haven't been fighting that many people. I want my friends as that claims to be so great at the game, but I don't know. But overall, man, the game is a good port, but it's just bad. And Capcom has been milking it when it comes to games in general, especially Street Fighter games. This move was pretty nasty. Give me your face, nigga. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to do that aside from the commentary, but, um... Like I said, they've been milking it with the Street Fighter games. Street Fighter 4 came out in 2008 or 9 or something. It probably came out earlier than that for all I know. And they're still making them. Ultra Street Fighter 4 is coming out. Let me go down the list in the, uh, our last gen's uh, tech real quick. So th Xbox 360 PS3 was Street Fighter 4. Then Super Street Fighter 4. Then Super Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition and now Ultra Street Fighter 4. When are they gonna make five? Just stop milking it with this. And then all they do is add like four characters. And I think in uh arcade edition, all I think only person they added, because I remember I talked to someone, I was like, why did I say why did they make that? I said, What's different from the other ones? It's like, oh, they put Evil Ryu in. I'm like, you made an entire game just to put one person in, you could just release that as DLC. What's up with that? But um I don't know, man. It was, it was just pretty whack. But, um, they've been just milking it with these games, man. Uh, Resident Evil hasn't been the same since 4, which is my favorite, which I've said in plenty of commentaries. Um, but they said they were going to go back to the survival horror type feel of the game. They said that in 6, and they still didn't fucking do it. Because I was not scared in 6 at all. I was more scared of 5 than I was of 6, because 6 literally did not scare me at all. Five didn't either, but it was probably worse. And this is one thing I do like in the game is like these little linker uh, super moves. Look at that! I did, just... <laughs> but um, I think that was a pretty uh, nice addition to the game. But it's just overall, I just didn't really like the game all that much. It's just like when I punch somebody, it doesn't feel like I'm actually hurting them. It doesn't feel like like my left hook really had this man stunned. It just feels like. I'm punching the air. It just, I don't know, man. It just feels weird. But, um, enough of that. Capcom, what they need to do, I don't even think at this point they're going to do anything to really stay alive because unless they actually make Resident Evil 7 extremely good like they did 4 and 2 and the original ones, if they just go back to the way they were, I'm not talking about they need to do everything the way they did before and stuff like that, but I'm just saying that's what really got people into the series, not this action-packed bullshit. And people that actually did enjoy it probably just were new to the series or they just, I don't know, maybe they just liked it. I don't know. But, um, I don't know, man. they just been milking it just like, um... Call of Duty's been doing it. I'm not saying the games are bad, but it's just when they're coming out too much and they're really not making that much of a change. Like, but a Ghost, honestly, the multiplayer feels a little different. I know I'm moving the video around a lot. I'm sorry about that, but um, it feels a little different. But then again, it still has that familiar feel. And if they change too much, they will lose their core fan base. Like how Gear Judgment changed too much, they lost their core fan base. And basically, it's like a lose-lose situation. You lose by uh, 
not changing for the people that want you to change or you lose because of the fact that you're staying the same and people are still like, oh, you're, they're not changing. They're just doing the same bullshit over and over. Basically, it's a little, little situation. You really cannot do much. So that's what's, that's what's bad about that. Once a game gets big and popular, it's going to be hated at a time and point. That's why Call of Duty is hated so much. And um, another thing is... If they just made the games that people actually wanted, like I said, they brought back Resident Evil the way it was, and they made like another Mega Man. People were actually waiting on another Mega Man game. Um, people hated Devil May Cry, the, the new Devil May Cry, the uh, remake they did. People hated it, like especially the fans early on, because Dante looked different. And honestly, I played the new Devil May Cry. And I've still, as you can see, I had it in an unboxing, the original uh, HD collection as well. The game was still good. Those people that's just bitching about the way he looked, that was just stupid. The game had actually a really, really good story, and I liked it a lot more than the other game stories. Because the other game stories, they had an okay story, but it really wasn't, like, that great of a story. But that one actually had a really good story. There were some things I didn't like about the game, but I'll get into that later. But, um... If Capcom just, basically, I just think they should just, like, haul, like, just leave Street Fighter alone for now. Leave it alone for now, and, or just make Street Fighter V, because that is the main thing that Capcom is really known for, Street Fighter and Resident Evil, and, or for me, Devil May Cry and Mega Man, that's what they're most known for, and, I don't know, it could be more games than that that I'm not sure of, but... I just wish that Capcom wouldn't die off because it's sad because I grew up playing these games and I don't want to see them die off. It's pretty bad though. Um, so um, this gameplay is just about over. I hope you guys enjoy the commentary. Tell me what you think about Capcom almost dying off. And I got more videos on the way. I just had to pop this one out because I filmed this gameplay a long time ago and I just needed to get this off my chest. Because I literally did not like this game at all. Not because of the port, not because of the graphics or any of that shit. I just did not like it because they zap Tekken characters into a cartoony ass world. And the fighting just feels weird. And it's just what Capcom is doing with Street Fighter. Milking that shit dry. I don't know, man. They just, hopefully they can change it sometime soon. Don't change it too much, but just make it better. Add some innovation. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And that is it for this gameplay. Stay tuned for more. And Tyrogue be out.